Cancer. You need to know this right now for May the 25th through May the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for May the 25th through May the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for May the 25th through May the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for May the 25th through May the 26th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Cancer. Thank you so much for supporting this channel at Cash App Dollar Sign Her Immortal Majesty. This is for donations only, no private readings. The link is in the description. And thank you in advance, Cancer. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So, Cancer, could be dealing with a Scorpio. But you can tell me that something is ending. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for cancer. Clarify death for cancer. Clarify death for cancer. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that we have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Now, Cancer, you know, for some of you guys, you very well could have just cause to celebrate here, okay? Maybe going from no longer dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're married. Some type of transformation with just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that, you know, things ended here, but you guys are starting new, you're reuniting. Or you're telling me that things are ending because there was a third party. Cancer, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders, something is a burden here for you. Now this is a 10, so this is an ending, this is you wanting to release a burden. So Cancer, you're telling me that something is difficult, something is heavy and burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Cancer, clarify the 10 of Wands. For cancer. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Cancer, listen, very well could be a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. 
Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So cancer, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. So cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're burdened because there was a rushing and going off, going ham passionately over practicality, money, assets, resources, property. Yes, maybe even commitment. You could also tell me that, hey, you know what? I'm releasing this burden, okay? Because there's an offer of commitment coming in here. Maybe wanting to reunite and transform things. And maybe it's a rush. Maybe it's a rush to do this. Cancer, for some of you guys, you can tell me that you're burdened by the fact that someone accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with a third party. They were out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Cancer, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for cancer. Clarify justice for cancer. Clarify justice for cancer. Justice at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Cancer, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now, Cancer, you can tell me that something was a fair balance of just, and you guys has already established commitment. However, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here, maybe wanting to go to the justice of the peace. Is it an argument over it, or is it a rush to do it? Cancer, mm -hmm. honey, 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 hush. Ace of Pentacles again. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. I don't even know if you're supposed to be watching this. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone. To bring, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. So Cancer, listen, you know, someone may be apologizing. Yes, maybe just wanting to reunite and maybe dinner in a movie or something. But it could also be about commitment here. Because this can be a proposal. Four of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down completely let down this is a 10 so this is an ending an ending in betrayal so cancer you're feeling a sense of betrayal let down and devastation here however in tarot tens are ending so you could be coming up out of feeling this sense of betrayal so cancer listen you know i feel like there was some type of betrayal here you were burdened yes but is this person coming in trying to jump high to get you back and the thing is you know 
are you getting over this betrayal? Because they are jumping high here. Cancer. Yeah. You have the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So cancer, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Clarify the seven of swords for cancer. Clarify the seven of swords for cancer. Clarify the seven of swords for cancer. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So cancer could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for cancer. Clarify the hermit. For cancer, clarify the hermit. For cancer, it is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase. A new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So cancer, everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for cancer. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For cancer, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For cancer, it is clarified with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the King of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the King of Wands. For Cancer, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak, ugh, I can't even speak. This can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. You know, Cancer... I feel like you're discovering some type of deception here, okay? And so you, you're thinking long and hard about it, and you feel like you want to go stagnant with this person. I feel like by you going stagnant with this person, because you're discovering this betrayal, this is a deception and a betrayal here, they're jumping high to get you back. So you going stagnant with this person causes you to get your wish. And your wish is to have some type of commitment with this person. But do you want commitment with a sneaky person? Deceptive person that caused you a betrayal here. ending things but reuniting and transforming things and having just cause to celebrate here jumping real high to get you back i'm going to take a look at your hidden truth oracle cancer hmm.
and so I know I messed up everything I know I messed up everything for some of you guys you were primed to go into some type of commitment here and this person messed up hi cancer thank you for supporting this channel at cash app dollar sign her immortal majesty this is for donations only no private readings the link is in the description and thank you in advance cancer cancer you need to know this right now for may the 25th through may the 26th 2023 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace